Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Got the Boston Trucker here. You can watch me on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. I'm at the 40th anniversary of Shell Super Rigs. Fog is rolling out. Got some amazing trucks here. In a beautiful location here at the Branson Landing, Branson, Missouri. Trucks are rolling in. They've been rolling in all night. And there's a whole bunch more that are going to be here pretty soon. Checking out this beautiful Fleener Brothers truck, driven by Mike Hicks. They call this truck Pistachio Promises. And if you haven't seen it on social media, you're not on social media because it's all over it. And this is a working truck. This guy runs out to California almost every week with this truck. You can see him along the highways of I-44 and I-40. 3C Express, Chakota, Oklahoma. It's got the chop mirrors with the brackets upside down. No spot mirror. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Got the lowered panels here to make the truck look lower. Got pinstriping right on the door handles. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Cool drop visor coming off the back. That's awesome. With the one CV antenna. What a beauty. Oh, look at the pinstripe on the back of the tank. Love that. Custom lights underneath. Getting their trucks ready for the show. Beautiful Peterbilt. What year's your truck? 2022. 2022's 20, got that old school look. Thank you. Could have fooled me. Yeah. The old breathers, 359 lights. Wow. Who makes that visor? RLK. RLK. Best visors around, right? They are, they are very you good. You can't beat those. Jeez, look at that. I love it when you when they got them lowered like that. I do too. That's awesome, man. Thank you. First time at Super Rigs? Yes, sir. All right, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Where are you guys out of? Nebraska. Nebraska, all right. Eagle, Nebraska. Eagle? Yep. Eagle, Nebraska. This one's run by Tony Huttenstein. Awesome guy. Old school trucker. I always put these chrome wings on my trucks. All the trucks I ever ran, I always had those. I haven't seen those in years. The exact same ones I put them on. I used to put them on Peterbilt mostly. Wow, what a beautiful truck. Tall stacks. Pinstriping. Just enough. Less is more. Less is always more. Custom steps. Light right there. Custom tank brackets. Love that old school, old school chicken lights right there. This is an old school truck. What a beautiful truck. Long wheelbase, pinstriping on the hangers, and the deck plate behind the tank. What a beauty. Fog is starting to lift here in Branson. It's gonna be a beautiful day. We're right here on the river. You can't beat this location, downtown Branson, Missouri. You know what? They said it couldn't be done. People on social media are like, oh, we, you can't get trucks in downtown Branson. That's not truck friendly. Really? Really tell these people that, because these are some of the world's most professional truckers. They get it done, trust me. Challenge accepted. Right here. With trailers. These guys with the trailers across the way here. We're gonna head over there. Two thousand and twenty two Peterbilt, huh? Wow, what a beautiful truck. What a gorgeous truck. The Cummins in it. Very nice. A lot to be proud of. 
these guys work their butts off working number one and then coming to a show like this you lose you know you lose working time revenue but they come to these truck shows because they love it and they make friends for life at these shows they're here with people who have the same passion as that they do for the trucks like these guys these people the men and women the kids that come here they love trucks they love trucking and to them it's a lifestyle it's not a job we talked about in one of my videos whether I'm a trucker or a truck driver these guys truckers these are all truckers okay they're not just truck drivers they live this every day when they're home they're thinking about trucks and what they can do to their trucks and the next truck show and they're they're flipping through social media looking at trucks that's what I do. My wife said, hey, don't you ever get sick of looking at trucks? No. Nope. We're getting photobombed here by Shelby Happiness by the Mile. How you doing? On YouTube. Good. How are you? <laughs> uh, you having a good time? Actually, yeah. I'm, I'm glad the sun's coming out. It's going to be warm. It's going to be nice. Kill the fog. <laughs> yeah. The fog was kind of cool as it was, as it was rolling out. Well, um, it's good to see you. You and too. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. So this guy, those trucks are starting to roll in more. I know there's a bunch more trailers that are coming down. Hoping to catch a few of them on video pulling in here because it is challenging to get in here. I gotta say. This this truck has a theme throughout. Though we kept the the holes the same. If you look at the grill holes. Versus and with the with, with the screens here and the screens in the side, we did them all the same to keep the keep everything flowing through. And then we got everything uh, anything we could move twisted, we did. So we got twisted custom one-off mirror brackets or stainless hollow tubing from SH2. Yeah. Those are handmade, hand twisted actually. Wow. Same with the grab handles, the support brackets for the uh, uh, for oh, the yeah. exhaust. Wow. And then I'll, I'll pop the hood real quick. If you sure. Got a second. And uh, show you the radiator support arms are also twisted. Stainless. Uh, the dew out here is pretty heavy. Man. We got wow. So we did those. Look and at then, that. And then we switch over to the other theme, which is the the brass knucks throughout. And uh, there's the uh, oh, yeah, yeah. that's custom made there for the for the dipstick tube. Oh, and then we got your custom made shifter for. Oh, let me see that. That's twisted and oh, and, wow. it, and it's made the knuckle duster made to fit his hands. Yeah. yeah we Look at that. that. And the trailer also has this, the uh, the brass nugs on the handles and all uh, cut to fit. What and, a uh, yeah, they've got the one piece. You know, Kenworth didn't really come out with a uh, with a one piece cow panel, so that's a one piece cow panel okay. that we made uh, 304 stainless from SH2. And then of course, I thought one of the coolest additions to the truck, I really fell in love with them, was that was the door hangers. Well, I call the door hangers, but the to hold the door open and not let it slam or anything like that, or to keep people from just jumping up in the truck. Wow. And we did it on the, uh, on oh, the sleepers I see that. here too. Yeah. And, uh, and those are again, those are stainless, twisted to match. And uh, does that does that slide off? That that actually just pulls out. Okay, that's, that's just an insert. That's that we, fantastic. That we put in to keep the because at night we or when we turn the radio on, these speakers are all lit up, so it gives it a really nice reflection off that stainless as well. You you know. Stainless wrap tanks. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah what, what about those uh, tank lights? I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Those are uh, those are Roadworks uh, um, watermelon, watermelon lights. lights. Yep. And uh, wow. we just had. To, I just told them. I said, you know, I want to do something a little bit different. I think if I had to redo it again, I think I'd I think I wouldn't do quite so many. But uh, man, they are bright at night. They're. I mean, they're, really? Oh my goodness. I've <laughs> actually I've actually had people. To pull up at a stoplight and tell me, hey man, turn them off. You're really? Me. Yes, sir. yeah. Yeah, and then we got Talladega. Mike and the boys over at Talladega Fiberglass are just awesome wow. people, man. We did Talladega deck plate, uh, Talladega uh, airline box there, and of course, Talladega single hump gangster fenders, Talladega T bars. Yeah. Those are, they got 13, there's 13 four inch rounds in each of those. Wow. And, uh, yeah. You got a, quite a load on the back there, I see. Yes, sir. Yeah, we keep this one loaded down. Globe trailer, huh? Wow. Thank you. Yes, sir. This dude is uh, whipping our tail out here. Yeah. 
the weather here is going to be a challenge, I think, the next couple is. days. Yes, sir. It is. A lot of wiping down. Yes, and uh, the birds, the birds oh, really? next to the lake, they really love to, to um, they're not a fan of my truck. I don't understand why. <laughs> so let's just say know, that. I'm a fan. <laughs> well, I wouldn't you. poop on it. <laughs> well, I appreciate yes, you guys. Hey, man, thank you Bubba very Branch, much. Yes, sir. Colt. Yes, sir. Yes, and my wife, name? Crystal Lynn. Crystal. Crystal, nice to meet you guys. Thanks thank for coming to Super Rigs. Thank, thank you for having us. All right. Truck show prep never ends. Until they say rags down. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? All right. Working hard? Yep. Never looks, ending. <laughs> looks great. Thank you. Hard work's paying off. Is that a rooster? It is. I've never seen a rooster on the grill before. That is so cool. He hauls chicken. What is it? He hauls chicken. He hauls chicken, all right. Chicken hauler. Very nice. On this 379 day cab okay that is awesome I would look very good hauling dirt and gravel and heavy equipment around the Boston area in this truck right here Wow that is awesome some awesome trucks here and it's getting warm out it's it's only like uh, nine o'clock in the morning it's gonna be 85 degrees 100 percent humidity doesn't stop these drivers from getting these trucks ready though beautiful 359 right there Randy victory it says Flying a drone? I was, yeah. wave, I was hoping you'd wave me as I took off. Uh, did I? You did. Okay, good. Yeah. I don't know. He's like, where's the, where's the drone? Um, right above us. Uh, oh, really? Right over behind the other side of this red truck. I'm in the middle of making a YouTube video. Can I give you a you plug? Go. Of course. What's Just, going on? How you doing, guys? You know, we're just droning. Droning, droning. <laughs> Very huge. Justin trucking? Just trucking. Just trucking truckin', truckin', yeah. on YouTube. Put Justin in the middle of the truck. There you go. There you go. Just where else, where else do we find you guys? That's it. We're pretty oh, we much YouTube. We do have a fam, uh, family, fa it's like a just trucking family on uh, Facebook. Yeah. You want to land in your hand for them? Oh, ah! Wow. That is so cool. That's what I do in my truck. I just put my hand out. Really? <laughs> you go through in a day guaranteed to have a bag <laughs> can never have enough of those can you no they're god's gift earth that's for absolutely sure. you just wipe it down straight yeah nice. right now and then i'll come back over with some spray wax here in a little bit wow what a beautiful truck man i appreciate it you guys out of texas yes sir that are so, north of dallas you've been coming to super rigs a, long, a bunch of years now right yeah i've been coming since 2018 
What's your name again? Caleb Hammond. Nice to meet you, Mike Gaffin. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'll let you get back to work. No problem. All right. man's dream. These drivers are getting it done. Tight quarters. Hey, how you doing? Good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Hey. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Me too. You open up, climb inside, go back and take a nap, whatever you need to do. Don't tip me. <laughs> Air conditioner is cold. <laughs> Jamie, what are we looking for, Jamie? What are we looking for? What are you, what are you looking at when you look at one of these trucks? You know? you, I don't know. I always start out with like the 50 foot view and see what the appearance is and you know what the, what's the wow factor from the curb and then just keep dialing in more and more. And what's really fun is when you get to a truck like this, I mean, this is a pretty unique color why did the driver pick it you know why did the owner pick it you know and just kind of get those backstories because you learn so much more about their personality too and that to me is the fun part you, Do you know? know the name of this truck i have not yet pistachio promises oh there you go right? it's very appropriate it well and i like that it basically matches the first oh, day right. judging shirt so right. i mean he's fitting the theme for the day <laughs> I'll let you do your thing. more trucks rolled in here beautiful red wow land tractor Hampton Arkansas oh I love the color of that truck gorgeous How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, what are you using for the tire shine? What kind is that? That's some new stuff we're trying, untouchable. How's it working? It looks so good. Far, so good. It's nice and shiny. Pretty easy to put on, that's the best part. Yep. Don't huff too much of that stuff. I'll we'll try not to. Boy. It's cherry scent though. Yeah, yeah. It gets your eyes. When you get it in your eyes, yeah. You ever notice that? Oh yeah. Kind of make it affects you all day. It does. That, Beautiful color. Wow. Thank you. Both of these trucks. Oh, the same color. Wow. Yes, sir. Your builder's somewhere. Probably along the other side of that truck. Okay. 
plates right there. That is pretty cool. Look at that. I mean, it looks brand new to me. C16. Beautiful, man. Thank you. It looks brand new. It is. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, it's gorgeous. Wow. Look at the engine. Look at the turbo in the thing. Right? How you doing, Dave Foster? Right. How are you? Good. Never ends, does it? Easy living, I don't know. Sure. You living up to that? <laughs> We're trying. We truck for tacos. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right, helping everybody out, huh? Trying to do the best camera we Teamwork. Got. Teamwork makes the dream work. Got it. truck it puts white fenders on a trailer real truckers dedication right there oh somebody's under there you hear me talking <laughs> how you doing i'm uh, making a youtube video what kind of truck it puts white fenders <laughs> somebody is really on top of this stuff definitely gotta stay on top of them how many times them? you wake up in the morning and you got roadkill on the point of fenders uh oh all the time right yeah right yeah, that looks awesome, man. Thank you. I'm really impressed. Thank what you. a beautiful truck. Appreciate it. Absolutely. A lot of work, huh? A lot of work. You're in a good shady spot, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay under here the rest of the time, trust me. All right. I'll let you get back to work. All right. All right. Wow. Look at that. God bless America. Amen. What a beauty. Produce pimping. That's awesome. Produce pimping Pocahontas. Wicked cool. Wicked cool. He's got the backup lights for a nighttime. You can see behind him. A lot of details. Don't want to miss them. for spread axle. That's the way to do it right there. Lots of lights. Got chain hangers right there. You know what I 
means if he's got chain hangers. I mean, he ain't sitting in a parking lot in the snow. He's out there trucking. But that produce has got to go. I need my mangoes. where the driver can see you in his mirror. people at home were live you always stand in front of the in the guy's mirror we can see you and you yep. knew exactly what to do there. that's right good job all right go ahead okay. thank you Huck, i sent you a friend request and i'll send you that video later uh, on i sent you a friend request on facebook oh okay and I'll send you the, I'll, uh mike gaffin i just sent it to you and then I'll send you that video later when it's uploaded. Okay. That was really great. All right. All right. Okay. Hi, right, buddy. You. Yep. Check out my video with him, Huck Huckabee, an 80-year-old trucker who still trucks and loves it. And that green truck over there, that's his old right. Super Riggs calendar winter truck right there from 1989. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. Everybody's wiping down. But can you do that again? Oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. That guy should play for the Celtics. You should play for the Celtics. They could use you. Look at this guy, high jump. Should have had a shorter hood. Shorter hood, yeah. <laughs> you get one of them short hoods. big deal in the YouTube world. Did you see him? Big deal. <laughs> oh, just trying to be me. Just trying to be me and nobody else. Love this deck plate with the chicken lights. This is in my last live video with Huck Huckabee. I want to show you guys in case you can get to see it. It's beautiful A model rolled in last night. Big power. Come and dry, leave wet. Norwood Truck Wash and Chrome Shop. Norwood, Missouri. Awesome. used to be back in the day back when I was doing truck shows there was a guy in a big bus he used to go to all the truck shows and he would etch your glass I had him do the small window the small peekaboo window on my pass on my Peterbilt of the old Bud Meyer truck lines logo I never got a picture of it I 
think I quit like right after that. Awesome, awesome. Awesome trucks here. Fortunately, I'm gonna miss the light show in the parade tonight because I gotta get I gotta get back east. Mighty fine, 359. I always thought it was nothing finer than a freight liner. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Beautiful truck right there. Some other trucks rolled in overnight. He's wiping down. This guy just rolled in this morning with a 1959 needle nose Peterbilt. This is the builder right here. Old school cool. How you doing, Dave Foster? How are you? No, I'm not going to make it. You going to go down there? Yeah. That's going to be a good time. Yeah. Say hi to my buddy Rich Ruxtelis. Okay, I'm never. Kramer, question. Hey, how, you doing? how you doing? Good, yourself? Why is everybody surprised that you're at Super Rigs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man, what Not a beauty. Not real sure. We uh, figured we'd just give her a go. Or this is close to home. And so, mm. yeah, see so, what happens, so I guess. We have a lot, of, lot to be proud of. Yeah. Man, well, we're getting what closer a beauty. With it. What year is your truck? It's a 94 model. Well, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know you got a lot of competition next to you here. Not I don't know. I don't know about this guy right here. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, neither one of them. I take either one of them. Right. Where do you get one of those Ferris hats? How do you get uh, one? A limited supply that I've got stashed away. Do you there. really? Yeah. <laughs> Had to pull it out of retirement. Oh my God. That's awesome. That's like iconic trucking right there. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to pull it out, I said I wasn't going to wear them no more, but I pulled it out for this No, I think it's very fitting. Jack Leg.
Jack Leggett, nice to meet you. Nice Lightning meet Jack you. says on your shirt. Jack. What is that you're holding there? Like a, this is my coffee cup. That is really cool. Custom yeah. coffee cup. Oh yeah, my wife, me and my wife on it. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You having a good time with the truck having show? Having a ball. We love truck shows, enjoy them. We try to do as many as we can, but hadn't got to do so many this year. But we're having a really good time. A lot of nice trucks. Here. Yeah. How long have you been driving trucks? Uh, 28 years. Yeah. This is your truck. Yes, sir. This is it. Well, can you tell me about it? Well, it's a 99 Kenworth. I had it painted in all about four years ago. Um, we put the lights in the back of the sleeper. And we put the Jones Performance hood on it with the round headlights. And I all. noticed that's like an A-model hood. Yes, sir. It's an yeah, A-model really hood. Cool. A-models are my favorite truck. So I'm all, I, yeah, I try I to. I like that A-model over there. Oh, that's, that, that's Billy's truck. Dude, it's really crazy, awesome. Huh? It is awesome. He does. Wow. He's had that a long time. He's won a lot of truck shows with Really? That. Yes. What kind of hauling do you do? I pull cows. Oh, really? Yeah, no I'm kidding. Bull here. Wow. Yeah, we, um. We do that. I've, I've got a hopper bottom that matches the truck. We okay. painted it to match. Um, but like I said, it's at the house and I just pull cows now. What's it say on the back of your sleeper here? Um, that's a Bible verse there. You know, it's um, oh, yeah, Matthew 24, 27. Oh, Put it on there. Uh, it uh, kind of goes with my the handle there, Lightning Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check out the interior. Oh, yes, sir. It's dirty right now. That's okay. I'm not judging. I'm not a judge. I'm just a social media guy. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh, I do. It's beautiful. Hi, we're on YouTube. Hi there. Hi, who's this? That's Bree. Hi, Bree. How are you? Yeah, we, uh, like I said, it's dirty in there. We we live in it when we're here, so we just try to. Okay. <laughs> is, 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 oh, like, what's that, a paper log book? Well, oh, yeah. They still have those? Well, oh, you know, that, huh? that's, that's an old Live book, huh? <laughs> yeah. Book. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's your second book, right? That's right. Wow, yeah. that's really cool. What yeah. a beautiful, I think this truck's awesome. Don't tell people your truck is dirty, because really, you're the only one that's going to notice that. Yeah. We're all insecure about our trucks, truck shows. <laughs> but just don't point out the imperfections because really we're the only ones that notice them. Well, so you, you point know. them out and then they go, oh yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, the people's like, man, he's nasty. You got a dog bowl in the floor. Oh, but dude, you this know, truck is we, so uh, clean. It's cleaner than my truck. Well, we put the hardwood floors in it's it. Beautiful. When I bought it, it was a basket case. You know, it was just a mess. Everything was horrible. And been mistreated. And it's been a work in progress. Oh man, you wouldn't believe how nasty it was. Dude, and uh, Something we, to be proud of. We had, yeah, we're proud of it. It's taking a while to get it, but we've uh, We've got it looking better, you know. This is hand painted pinstripes. Oh, really? Um, I can't remember oh, yeah, the guy's that. name that done it, but that's old school, you yeah. know. And so we like that better than the, you know, than it's hard the to find a good on. pinstripe. It is, days. it is. And that guy was really good. He's out of Georgia somewhere, okay. but I can't remember his name. But it wasn't the Ice Man? No, that's the polishing guy. Never mind. Uh -huh. but you got, I want to check out this hood here. Yes, sir. Well, like I just say it's a '99 truck, so it's yeah. got the full glass, you know, in it. Oh yeah. And uh. I, put, I love the A model, so I put that Jones Performance hood on it, and those lights above the headlights, you know, that was the thing back right. in the 70s, you yeah. know, where all the guys would put them on, so. Uh, and it says here you're an official member of the Left Lane Gang? That's amazing. How do you get a membership? <laughs> well, you know, it's just being in the Left Cow, Lane. Cow mobile, guys. <laughs> you Cow guys, are, that's your lane, ain't it? Anyway, <laughs> we shouldn't even be in that lane, no, right? We should no, just move if over. If you're in the way, move over. That's, that's all, all we need. <laughs> that's a, just common courtesy. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, Right. You know, we're, we're running a C15 cat, it's 13 okay. speed, you know, so nice. it all... What do you haul those cows it. to, all over? All over. We really? come out of Nebraska yesterday, but okay. we're, we're in a lot of different places. We go to Texas, and uh, we're, like I said, Nebraska, Kansas, you know, right. just wherever. Just wherever we need them. So, are you guys exempt when you're hauling? Can you guys like run? Well, the way it's set up now is you you have to run a log book, yep. uh, but you log it like you do it. Okay. And so, you know, which is really simple because if yep. you stop and sleep a couple hours, you can log it like you need to. And sure. That's the way it should be. It should be that way for yeah, everybody. Absolutely. But but they got that, I think, till August. And okay. then I don't know what they'll do after that. So. All right, cool. But, you like hauling? You like hauling oh, yeah. Livestock? I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You love trucking? I do. It's a lifestyle, right? It's a very much a lifestyle, you know. Been in it for years. My daddy was a trucker, but he died when I was young, so never really got to run with him. Okay. But uh, I don't know, just in the blood, I guess. Yeah, I you can't it. get it out, right? No, <laughs> no it's great. don't really want it out, you know. I enjoy. No, why it. would you? Yeah. I mean, if you love it, it's not it's not a job, and it's hard work. It is. You put it the is. hours in. It's hard work, but these people are my people. I'm comfortable with them, you know. Uh, Brother, you couldn't have said it better. Than yeah, when you're truck. sitting in a truck stop, you know, it's like sitting at home, yep. you know. I just I'm with my people. That's, you know? Oh, I love it, man. It was really nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet Mega you too. Mega Truck in Heflin, Alabama. Yes, sir.
We have one there. It's the last exit on I-20 before okay. you get into Georgia. It's okay. just a little spot. I think we've got two red lights. Maybe three if you count the one out by the oh. school. Okay. Yeah, if you don't like red lights, don't come visit me in Boston. Yeah, I know. I know. Y'all got a bunch in Boston. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Good luck with the yes, judging. Sir. Well, thank really you so much. You. All right. Yeah, thank you for enjoy. talking to me. Thank you. All right. Drivers that move America. These are working truckers that just love trucking and trucks and chrome and polish. There isn't a chrome shop in this country these guys don't know about. How many inches sleeper is this? 140. 140? Uh -huh. Do a lot in 140 here. Oh, you can. And you know, you get greedy after you've had it for a while. You think, oh man, it's not enough room. And Daniel said, you get greedy, fellas. But no, I, I love it. We got the full. Wait, where, where is the bed? Is oh, it this right I, here? Oh, yeah, so I didn't oh. like the bed showing, so Daniel okay. made me a manual. Okay. And we put it up and then the bed comes down, table goes up and there's your bed. Your That's bedroom. pretty quick. Yeah. Wow. And then you have the restroom here, which is a full shower, bathroom. Wow, it's nice and spacious. And we have an ironing board. Ironing board. You gotta have an ironing board. You gotta look, your man's got to look good. That's right. right? <laughs> I love the rope, the rope details. And then you got your medicine cabinet. Oh, that's great. Lots of space in your cloth, your cabinets for food. Oh, you go yeah. get groceries. My daughter went with me to get groceries because we we're so close to home. And she said, I'll help you take it and put it in the in your house. I said, no, it goes in the truck. <laughs> she said, how do you get all that stuff in there? I said, it's, it's, you got to. Yeah. So you have a nice right. microwave and a stove. And then you got lots of space. You got it. I tell you, the air conditioning is very impressive. It is. It's it, really. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Makes you want to stay in here, doesn't it? It absolutely does. But then you does. can't visit. Then you got the full refrigerator. Oh wow, freezer. full size. Uh huh. Well, I think this uh, sleep is bigger than my house. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the cab car. I mean, oh, yeah. the inside. This wow. like. This is something a lot of people never get to see. This is so nice. You know, and it's a shame because we love sharing it with people. And we used to give tours all the time, but with the COVID, right. this is our home. We just right, happened. There's our grand, one of our grandbabies oh, yeah. working on the truck. <laughs> well, you guys are just so open, and you seem to you treat everybody like their family and like the long family. life friends. Yeah. And yeah. it's really nice to see. Everybody, we love everybody. You don't and have an attitude, you're humble. I hope that's what we get, a humble, and that's what, if anything else you get out of us, we want to be humble and a, Christian, a good Christian. That's what I've always thought, whatever, every time I see you guys, you welcome everybody with yeah. open arms like, like your family. You don't never want uh, somebody to judge you, to say, hey, I mean, you don't tell them I'm a Christian. Yep. You have to, I mean, you want people to know you're a Christian mm -hmm. because it's what you stand for. It's what you live every day. You live in it. And there, this is our... Um, it's got lights in there too. 
our computer. I think it's about printer. time you guys get back on the calendar. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I told him I was going. Hint, hint, that big bright, that big old, uh, what do you call it, Ferris wheel? Right. It turns green. Oh my that God. That would be an awesome calendar picture. Because yes. I need to change the picture, right. don't I? <laughs> you absolutely do, but you know. <laughs> Daniel, we were having so much trouble because our truck's so old. Daniel's having so much trouble with the air conditioner. It's 96. 96, wow. Yeah. So we kept putting Freon in, putting new clutch and motor and all that mm -hmm. stuff in for the, the air conditioner. So this last year, we bought this air conditioner here at a Camping World. Then we bought this inverter off of wow. Home Depot, and that runs that air conditioner. How many watts is that? Oh, Holy cow, it's going to be a lot of wattage. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll just say it's a lot. Okay. He, he, Turns, we turn that on, run that down the road, and it cools the front and the back. It's so cold back here, it feels like a meat locker. But you a got it on locker. the app. Yeah. You got an app. I, I, everything meets. Really? Yeah. To turn Old it on. Old school trucking and modern day apps. Love it. Meet each other. That way you can turn Party it on and off. temperature. Are yeah. you kidding me? No. You just wow. turn it on. I keep, it gets a little warm going if you just sit here. I love this picture. That's a picture of Jamie and us at Shell Rotella in 2017 in Tulsa. Yeah, Tulsa, yeah. I was there. Yeah. That's, That's when they, everybody says the lights. Yes, you did a video well, and you were out there and you didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, and I didn't and he know what says, I was what doing. What is this? I don't know, but what is that stuff? <laughs> there were a lot of tornadoes that year. Yeah, there was. Yeah. See, there's the app. Oh yeah, look at that. You click on it. So cool. You turn it on. And there it goes. It's going to be 70 nice. degrees. Wow. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Wow. How long have you been driving trucks? I've been driving, I have my license about 17, 18 years. Yeah. Daniel's been about 30. 30 years? Yeah. yeah. I'm somewhere around there. I, I'm not good right, with numbers, right, but right. He, he's, we love it. It's in our blood. It gives me a lot of people who love that. He loves these truck shows. Really? He loves to get a trophy. Right. I mean, everybody does. Sure. But the most important thing is meeting and visiting with these people that's coming down and we don't know them and... You Make see, friends yeah, for life. Yeah. yeah, and you have friends all over the world. Yeah, that's so. cool. You guys are known all over the world. Isn't it that crazy? Like Isn't that crazy? Is, you know, it's pretty cool. It gives me goosebumps. It's pretty cool you're driving down the road and, right. and somebody did a video of us and... We didn't even know it was really out there. And they said, oh, I've seen that truck. That's the goose, yep. you know? And it's just like, wow, that's cool. The you goose. know, you can be in New York to Texas. Yep. And it's just cool. Are you guys still running all over? Well, we about in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. We're getting a little bit aged, Jonathan. You or the truck? Both. You guys? Both. You guys look great. <laughs> Ain't easy getting old. You know, I, I was thinking this year, I hit 59. I said, man, I'll be 60 years old next year. I mean, that used to seem old, though, didn't it? It does. When My we grandma younger? was 60. And yeah. now I'm like, wow, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it. I do, too. After a long day on the road and that bumpy road, that yep. wonderful interstate we get to drive. Yes. Like 40 in Arkansas, it's still really bumpy. Oh, and 130, did you see they have that shut down? No. Because there's a wreck there. No. They thought that road was Oh, really? Oh, it's, it's horrible. Wow. But it's, Daniel will be going down the road and, and he dodges the pockets. Really? Because he says, yeah, I have to. to fix the stuff. So. Yeah. And somebody will get on right. the CB and says, hey, driver, are you okay? And he says, yeah, I'm fine. He says, I'm just trying to keep my truck in order and miss the potholes. Thanks for growing. Well, thank you very much for showing thank me the you. interior of your home. Thank you. Once again, good luck at Super Rakes. Thank you. We we'll hope to see you in the calendar soon. We love you.
speaking with? Uh, this is Jerry Knowles, Knowles Trucking out of Tyrone, Georgia. Nice to meet you, Jerry. Yeah. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Good. Is it your first time at Super Rigs? Uh, no, sir. Well, it's the first time in about 20 years. Really? Yeah, we did it back, uh, well, my daddy, we've had, we had trucks in it from 85 all the way up to 90. And then we quit coming, you know, kind of okay. got out of it. Then uh, my daddy passed away about 10 years ago, and this was his truck. And we redone it all, and so he he was he had it in the show back years ago. So I said, well, I'll take wow. it out of here and see if we can get it in the show. You know, what a nice truck you your dad. Wow. Yeah. What a beautiful truck. Can you tell me a little about it? Yeah, it's a 2000 Peterbilt. It's got a 525 Cummings in it, 18-speed. Uh, what do you guys haul with it? Um, now we haul in auto parts. We haul for Napa and O'Reilly's. Oh, nice. Yeah. What do you guys usually run? Uh, we run from Atlanta to South Texas. We take cores down, bring in new stuff back. Okay, very cool. Can you show me around your truck a little bit? Some yeah. Of cool things about it? Yeah. Um, so, you know, got the American Class yeah. interior. It was on uh, the uh, cat scale cards back oh, in, really? uh, yeah, in uh, 97, I think. Awesome. And, uh, it's and a beautiful interior. I love the American Class. Yeah. The classic 379 Peterbilt. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Thank you. I love it. Yeah, and uh, we put, uh, we had it painted, uh, about, I got it back about a month ago. And uh, we put the uh, crying class emblems on it. Uh, okay, uh, I love that. Grill, uh, steering wheel seats, but, you know. Custom fenders? Uh, yeah, WCI fenders. Those are really neat. That's Tyler Dega fiberglass fenders on the Tyler, back. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, other than that, it's pretty much. I love know. the four air horns. Yeah, it's good. Those are eight inch pipes? Yeah, no, yeah. Eight, yeah, yeah, those are very nice. Well, I appreciate you talking with me. All right. It's really nice to meet you. Good luck with the judging. All right, appreciate Welcome it. Welcome back to Super Rigs. We'll okay, catch you man. later. Have a good All one. right. Got the old pre built truck here. Wes working hard as usual. This guy never stops. You know, when you stretch out your wheelbase, that means there's more to clean. That's the problem. Yeah, four and a half feet more. Four and a half more feet more. Yeah. That that equals to two hours extra, I think. <laughs> Looking good, brother. Thank you, Mark. Man. The cool details on this trailer. It's got the Ten Commandments in the reflection tape. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep her holy. You guys should know this stuff by heart, right? How you doing today? Good, how are you, sir? Dude, you're polishing this thing by hand? Oh my God. Yeah, we did it with a machine, but then it rained, so. Now we gotta do her by hand. What are you using here? Zephyr, huh? Yes. You like that? Yes. What's your name? Todd Gribble. Todd Gribble, nice to meet you. Todd Thank Gribble. you. Where are you from? Somerset, Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, yeah. I recognize the name and I thought Pennsylvania. Nice to meet you. Wow, what a beautiful truck, man. Thank you. What do you oh, I don't want to disturb you. Whoa, you got a heart shape caught out in the trailer? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that is awesome. What are you pulling this thing? I hold frac sand. Frac sand, okay. For the gas wells. Does that go all over? No, I usually, I mainly run Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. Okay. So that's challenging in itself. The mountains yeah. and yes, it is. A lot of a lot of seventy and seventy six and up in the yep. hills up there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have truck. You've been showing trucks for a long time. We started with my dad back in uh, 02. Okay. What's your dad's name? Kermit Gribble. That's how I recognize the name. I remember Kermit Gribble. I was doing truck shows in the 90s. I think it was right after I stopped. He had a really popular truck, right? Yeah, it was a flatbed with uh, suicide doors on it, green, yep. and with a purple checkered flag. I remember. Yeah, yeah, the checkered flag, yeah. Yep. The famous checkered flag. And who are you? Uh, my name is Mike Gaffin uh, on social media. I'm the Boston Trucker, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'm just a trucker who's here for social media. Oh, okay. Shell brings me down, make videos and post stuff. It's my fifth year with these guys. But I, otherwise, I'm trucking every day. I did truck shows in the 90s. I still do local truck shows with the truck I drive. I'm just walking around making videos, talking to people. It's 
the best time to do it. I, mean, I don't want to disturb you, but you ain't disturbing me. I love watching guys polish. I'm a big polishing guy too. <laughs> Everything by hand with me, pretty much. I like to see. What, I like to see guys how they do what they use and for products. <laughs> yeah, there's all kind of stuff out there to use. Yep. And just when you think you found the best one, then there's another one comes along. You're right. You are right. I'm using uh, Time to Shine right now. Well, that's what I was using. Yeah. But I ran out. Ah, that's that's a sin. That should never happen, right? I know. I know. And that's how you discover other polishes when you run out. That's the problem. That's why I'm using this Zephyr. That's what I had, so. Yep. We'll yep. give it a whirl. Yep. Oh, man. Well, you got a lot to be proud of here. Busting mine to kick yours. That's awesome. That's on the back of my dad's truck. Really? Is your dad still with us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's still with us. Very nice. I'm sure he's proud of you. He is. Yeah. My dad's a trucker, too. Or was a trucker. Retired now, but... Yeah, my dad runs a, a, a detail shop now. Oh, really? Yeah. Where's that? Somerset. It's called Somerset. Keith. Keystone wheel polish. Okay. Do you remember? I'm sure you remember. There used to be a chrome shop right with 70 in New Stanton. Is it still yeah. there? Remember no. that? No, it is not. It had been there for oh, 20 years. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I go back to those days. Back to the America's Chrome Shop at Dallas Pike, West Virginia. Yep. Used to do that show down at the Consolidated. Yep. 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 Back in the day. But I'll let you get back to work. Nice talking. I'll see you around. Too. Thank All right. you. Thank Have you. A good day. You too, man. <laughs> look at, what do you look at this? I'm, uh, that is something incredible. What a beauty. What a beauty. Gribble. Not here to take part, here to take over. <laughs> What an awesome truck. Nice guy. Humble. That's the key to being show truck. You gotta be humble. Alright? Don't get a big head. Just keep walking around here. an old dump truck? Yes, sir. Wow. Beautiful truck. Thank you. One year younger than me. <laughs> One year. I'm going to do the math. Mid 80s? I was born 84, yeah. That's 85? That's 85. Wow, yeah. See how I did that? Yeah. Trucker math right there. <laughs> That's awesome. What a beautiful truck. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. this truck it's gorgeous
smells good in there. Uh, does it smell like cotton candy? Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh man, I kept, I kept like sniffing in there. Yeah, it's uh... This stuff. Oh. I used time to shine. I didn't know they had a yeah. cotton candy flavor. Yeah, smell. Evan came out with this. this Wait, how does it smell year? like that inside the truck though? Just spray it all the time. Oh, oh, that's not polish. That's a spray. No, it's an air freshener spray oh that Evan gosh. makes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I gotta get some of that. It's good yeah. the best stuff. Yeah, I use this polish. Yeah, yeah, like we're a dealer for him. And really? Yeah, we we uh, work with him a lot. He's I like that guy. He's, he's a good solid. dude. I have, yeah. all, I have all the respect for him. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. So it's all the good luck for the future with all that. I, I, I use the same stuff. I had just told my boss, he has a couple, couple cases. Yeah. Oh, really? Look at that. Is that huh? what it smells like? Oh, that smells good. I'm going to get some of that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he makes awesome stuff. That's awesome. Man. Say hi to Evan on there. He'll be on YouTube. <laughs> hey. All right, cool, man. Thanks. What's up, guys? How you doing? Enjoying the show? Hey, yes. All right. He's in there signing autographs. He come up there to me and grabbed a hold of me. He said, "Sir, sir, sir." He said, I, "Your car out there is in there." And it started all that. The people just rolled. The Duke, John Wayne. Another Fleener Brothers truck. Thank you. Wow. That's beautiful. Nice. Got the towel. Pinstriping on the door. Custom floor with John Wayne in it. That's fantastic. Custom glitter knobs. company truck too, right? Yes, sir. What's Absolutely. your name? Eric. Eric? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You too. What a beautiful truck, yes, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. How long have you been working for Fleener? Um, I'll be here two years in August. Oh, well, they must be doing something they right. They are a very good company. Yeah. If you don't make it here, something's wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? That's awesome. <laughs> I, saw, man. I don't want to, I don't want to call me or a rock truck. Boston trucker with KJ Jones here. What's up, Mike? How are you, sir? I'm good, buddy. How good, are you? Good. Nice good to, to see, see you. you. Yes, sir. What's going on? Everything is good, man. Everything nice show good. today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice show. Cool stuff. Well, I'm the winner. This guy might be there. All right. Um, Instagram, do you have anywhere we can find you? Uh, yeah, Instagram is at KiwiBuild. K-I-W-I-B-I-L-D. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not doing that interview, but I was asked to follow with the judges when they judge you, so now okay. I'm here. <laughs>
guys always do a pretty good job. Yeah, they, they do. They did lots of work on the like, yeah. like all the, the interior of the plaid. Yeah. It's because Larry he always wears the plaid shirts, right? This might be might be my favorite right here. Something about an old school 359 stand-up bunk, long wheelbase, paint faded, which to me that's kind of the cool factor.